Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to explain you how to install Windows 10 in your uh, PC. So whenever you upgraded a new hard drive or you just replaced the hard drive, so you have to install a new operating system. Uh, depend on your exactly the laptop or desktop, what exactly you, you're going to use, it is 32-bit or 64-bit. So for that you need a, a USB drive, a bootable USB or you need a CD-ROM. So I'm going to use a USB to install uh, a new window in this uh, Dell laptop. So let's begin the process. We're going to start it from, and we try to boot from a USB. So as we, as we start it, so it's after the logo, it comes to, and it will ask you exactly, would you like to boot from USB and which, uh, which, how many bits you want to be. So depend on uh, exactly the laptop, what kind of laptop you have it. Uh, if it's i3, i5, i7, so you, I prefer to go to 64-bit because 64-bit is uh, is a, is a more uh, faster than 32-bit. So I just choose a 64-bit and I'm gonna go select this one, go for next step. So you will see the process going on. You know the all. Uh, the basic files going to be loading to the and copy to the hard drive so it's, it's pretty quick because it's 8 gigabyte RAM in this uh, laptop plus we install the SSD 250 G 240 GB hard drive so okay so after this you have to be choose the language here so what kind of language you are using to and then where you are exactly so it depend on you so basically by default goes to be English so I'm going to choose English and go next have to install so we have to accept this license Term and condition definitely. We, there's no other option, so we have to go next. So in this portion, you have to choose. Uh, uh, do you want to make a partition on your hard drive? Uh, I prefer to make a partition and then keep a, a, as a half of your drive as a backup drive, as a data drive, so you can save and secure your documents. Otherwise, few people don't like it, so we just make a one partition and go ahead for next one. So just select it when you make a partition it will show the second part and one system reserved because it need to be save the basic files and the second partition is is your main partition now go, we're going to install the window so there's other option also here you can see that you can delete it and remake it again for if you want to be or just format it if it's, it's an old hard drive but it's a new so thus have to go for next step so it start copying for the process it will take a few minutes we'll come back So it's, it's almost going to be now the step by step goes to second last step installing updates. So as it go to be the last step for the finishing and then it will ask you to restart the system. You can save your a uh, few seconds and then uh, make sure you have to remove your USB or CD-ROM so it will not go boot again from the USB. Here we go. So we get the logo now. So the basic information after a few minutes. So you have to enter the username, whatever exactly you want to be for name of this uh, laptop. Then you change, choose your region and all the stuff. And then if you want to be have some password, if you want to be, otherwise you can secure your window.
the beauty of the window 10 is the getting ready actually it's it's detecting the all devices what we have in the laptop like the drivers uh, because in this window 10 they have a plenty of built-in driver so it will detect automatically all the devices so make it ready when it's the windows become ready so you don't really have to find all the drivers uh, like you know before in, in XP or Windows 7 you know some drivers will be pending you have to download it from the internet and then you have to install it but in window 10 yes it have a built-in a lot of drivers so like you can say like 98 95 percent you don't really need to be download anything so just a few more minutes If you want to skip, so just uh, there's a button option here. If you want to, don't want to uh, use this uh, option, otherwise you can use it. Cortana. So choose your region where exactly you are. Canada, the keyboard by default mostly uh, US. If you want to be second keyboard, otherwise skip it. If you want to connect it, I will connect later on because uh, the updates basically take a, a longer than a normal. So I, I, I usually install the window and then I'm going to update it later on. So this is the here the position you have to be enter the name where exactly you want to be named this machine. So Dell admin. So you want to use the password if you want to be. Otherwise, it's okay. If you want a, a Crotana on your uh, helping assistant, so you can choose it. Otherwise, you can cancel it. don't really use this all assistant because it takes longer than normal so as I'm just here to making a guide for you help uh, so you can install the window at home it makes it easier for your life rather than paying outside like 80 90 bucks you know you can save money So as we mentioned, almost there. Everything is done, and here we go. Everything is ready now. So you can uh, add your wireless, and you can use internet, and you could uh, until like maybe as you install the new Windows, it will be update your drivers. It will update your uh, the Windows as per the newer version. So as you as you seen some notification here, mostly in this corner. So whenever you see, uh, the, uh, let me press for this. It will mention here, so you have to be update your window. So as you see in this some uh, notification, so just accept it and install that all updates. So everything should be good. Have a wonderful day.